So here's the cabin. Got a good start on it. Got all the drywall up. Got the flooring partially laid. Kind of a pain in the butt. I'm gonna walk to this end. So let me turn. Look at that beautiful view there. And a beautiful view here. Nothing but blue skies. And then you see the loft up there. Right now we have the futon mattress up there out of the way. So that'll be the kitchen area over there under the loft. And then over there where you see the, the drywall, that's, I mean the not drywall, uh, that's gonna be um, the waterboard for the shower area. So that'll be bathroom over there. And then again, big double doors. And then this beautiful view right here, right out the front window. Right over there is Columbia River. So there's a tour of our little house on the prairie. I'm gonna go take some outside shots for you. Backside um, of the cabin. And then there's the, the end where the loft is a little window up there for the loft. Something my grandchildren are looking very forward to. And then, of course, eventually this will all be mowed down. And we'll put in grass, at least around the house. Probably about an eight foot parameter. There's Henry cleaning up. He's worked so hard these last couple days. And there we are. So phase one, little house on the prairie. So here we are. Phase two of Little House on the Prairie. So you can see we have a few more things we've moved in here. And following this video, I'll have a lot of still shots of inside. But here's a nice uh, panoramic of the property. Again, 10 acres, some great farmhouses around us. We get to hear the roosters crowing every morning. And again, right there, Columbia River. And then we started on this pergola. We haven't finished it yet, but our hope is to uh, continue on and use it probably next summer. So let's go all the way around. We have these great rocks on the property that are, uh, we decided aliens have landed here and left these rock formations. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. They, they, uh, they're just stacked on top of each other, which is um, really bizarre. You see, you can zoom out a little bit there. And there's like, uh, let's say, eight of them along our property line. And uh, pretty bizarre. So here's the hill behind our property. At one point I thought, I'm gonna hike that hill. And then I quickly changed my mind as I got to the to the foot of it, actually. So another day. So here we are coming back around. You can see the sign I made many, many months ago, Gunsmoke Ridge. That's our our little house in the prairie's name. All right. So now we're walking towards the front door. Henry's in here watching football, of course, because it's Sunday afternoon. So here we are, walking into the living room area. Oh, there's Henry watching football. So this is our foam bed cover. It is amazing. There's our quilts, also amazing. So, bathroom is still a little bit unfinished. We still have a wall to put up there, but that'll probably be phase three. Awesome kitchen area. We got the sink in, the cupboards, tables, ice chest. So, right now, loft is being used for storage, but eventually, probably again, phase three or even phase four. So, I'm gonna come over here. 
of spin around. These are my great roadside finds in Puyallup. I love my chairs. I have two matching ones. And then uh, I have to highlight this really cool wood stove. So if you can kind of see, it has a cabin inlaid along the along the side of it. So currently it has no stove pipe, but that will be phase hmm, three or four. We'll see. Again, a beautiful day over here. That's kind of a given in this part of the world. So there you go, Little House on the Prairie, Phase 2. Thank you.